Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain to you what Symmetric DS is and how you can use it for cross-platform database replication and synchronization. So you can find the Symmetric DS source code on the GitHub page. I'll leave the link in the description. So this is an open source software. And you can't see the license information here, but if you go to the documentation page, you will be able to find the license information here. So under the downloads page, you can find that there is a community edition of Symmetric DS, and there's also a, a pro version, which is commercially supported. The community edition has the GNU general public license uh, GPL version 3.0, and well, if you go to TLDR legal, you can see that you can use it for commercial use, but you must include the original license and disclose the source code and, and so on. But a symmetric DS is something which you can pull in the Docker container and use it as is. You most likely will not need to modify the software, depending, of course, on your use case. I think one of the most common use cases for Symmetric DS is to use it for syncing a database. So you could sync, um, for example, an Oracle database towards an MSSQL database, or Oracle to Oracle, or MSSQL to MSSQL. It supports also MariaDB, uh, PostgreSQL, and it has multiple connectors and you can also go to view all connectors. It has a, a quite wide support. And well, here you can say change data capture, load publish only. So you could replicate the database as is to another location, but you could also kind of think uh, maybe using your production database and creating a reporting database and doing some transformations in between. So that's what Symmetric DS is designed to do. Under the documentation page, you can find documentation for both the pro version and the community edition. There is a, a quick start tutorial. There is instru instructions for doing an installation. Uh, for some reason, this page doesn't seem to explain the Docker uh, installation approach, which I, I think would be the easiest to get going and get started. There's a, a user guide. So there's quite a bit of documentation here. And what makes things even easier is that when you have all of this documentation, uh, you can actually use, for example, ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT, well, how do I install this in Docker? And how do I get started and get going? And he will get uh, clear step-by-step -step instructions. And if you get stuck, you can um, just uh, Ask ask ChatGPT uh, how how to continue and um, so there's there's really a lot of documentation in here and like if you want to just get going with the the installation go back to the download page so here on the download page you can uh, you can also download the pro version and try it out. They say there is a web UI on the down uh, on the pro version, but if you go to the pull Docker image page here, I recall seeing some instructions about having um, some kind of a UI even in this community edition. If you're interested in trying it out, check out my link in the description for a video on how to install it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.